In this episode, Sam discovers a base and lots of zombies, but struggles to find basic supplies. In this world turned graveyard, every footstep is a calculated dance between life and death. I've become a wanderer in a land of ghosts, driven not just by the need to survive, but by the hope that my family might still be out there. I move with caution, weaving through the ruins of cities and the skeletal remains of once vibrant communities. The journey is a solitary one, and the road home is paved with uncertainty. But the possibility, however faint, that my family endures becomes the unyielding force driving me forward. Okay, welcome back to the story of Sam, our main character, Samantha. We last left off when we went to a military compound and we got all this nice loot. What I did this time to help you out for your review and pleasure is I did not uh, make you watch me go through all my inventory. I went ahead and did that before I started recording. That way it's organized and ready to go and you're not sitting there just watching me fidget through all of the stuff as I am a loot goblin. All right, so we kind of, uh, it was raining when we left the military compound and we got a little bit lost and we wound up here in this little caravan. I dumped some of the stuff I didn't want there and now I believe I overshot um, that pond uh, up there and I believe I need to get a compass. That's another thing that today's mission is to get a compass. And I think this is the way that we're going to go. Um, and this will take us... I believe there's a town called Bawala or Biala. I, can't, I don't know how to say it, but it's, I think there's a water source there. I don't know if I've ever been to that town because I usually skip and go. No, I know I've been there because I, I, I've been there at least once. Um, but I believe it's right over this way. So we're going to head this way, try to get some of these basic supplies. We scored this nice military gear. Look at that backpack. That's sweet. But um, just need to get some basics up before we could head to our, our ultimate mission is to go way far south looking for Samantha's family to find out did they survive, especially her father. Her mother and father, uh, they separated a long time ago. And uh, she was visiting her mother in Lacau when all this took place. And her mom didn't, did not make it. So there's no communication. Samantha doesn't know what's going on, so she's headed to the only place she knows, and she's going to go to where her father is down south. All right, let me turn this off here. If you have not seen any of the other episodes, I would encourage you to go back and start from the beginning. If you have not seen the story of Noah, oh, look, there, there's some stuff right there. I think that is called, yeah, look, this is exactly what we need. Bawella or Bayala. Someone tell me in the comments, how do you pronounce the name of this town? It's up in the north of Livonia, the northwest. But we're going to go look. We need a sewing kit, leather repair kit, maybe another gun kit. kit. If we can find a nice rifle, that would be great. Because I've got these, I got the submachine gun, but I have no, um, very little ammo. I think I have a few and I have no magazines. This is an assault rifle that is badly damaged and I don't know that I'm going to fix it. I don't know that I'm going to keep this assault rifle. I would probably rather have a Mosin or a Tundra, especially when we're working our way down south and we might need to do some hunting. So we'll see what we can find in this town. I don't know. I don't think this is going to be very populated. I, don't, I can't imagine a lot of people being here because it's most in the uh, the higher tier loot in Livonia is going to be uh, down south. So you start in the north and you work your way down south for higher tier. Whoa, there is a base. Well, there's a base right here. And a flag looks like it's risen pretty high. And that means that someone has been here recently because the flags, if you don't know, when you build a base... Uh, you put a flag there and it will not let your loot despawn. Like you can stack up a bunch of loot like in that little shed. That's a very common place to build a base is in these uh, garages or sheds. Um, and you, you, your flag, the, the more days that go by, the flag will lower. So you have to raise it in order for it not to lower. 
Uh, so let's kind of just get a quick look. I don't have binoculars for every, anything, so let's just look around here real quick before we get too close. But hey, we might be able to find some loot there. Yeah, this is just a little old sleepy town, it looks like. There's some farm stuff over here. Well, don't climb on the top of the post like that. Looks like they've got... They've been doing some work because there is a... Uh, there's some metal at the top of that tower. And you have to go search for that and bring it back. And it takes time to build that. The wood, you can just chop with all these trees. This is probably not a bad place to build a base. Like if you're just wanting to enjoy Livonia up here north. I don't know if there's a pond. I usually like to build my bases near a pond. Let's, uh, before we go to that base, let's check out this. Look, see that sheet metal right there? That's what you get and you put at the top. Where did the tower go? You put at the top of that tower to help reinforce it. So we'll, we'll go, we'll go check it out. We'll make sure they're not around. They could be, you know, offline. Well, there's a, there's a nice tent right there if you want to build a base. But hey, I do need this, uh, oh, that's not sparely damaged. But if I need to make some rags, you can use that to disinfect your rags. Oh, it's not me there. Oh, come on. I'll just fight you. Oh, he's a priest. Oh, I got knocked through the fence again. Look at that. He used the, used the holy power to knock me through the fence. Okay. I just want to check uh, this outhouse, and then we'll go see what's in this base. Ooh, what we got here? 22? 22. That's what the... Yeah, that's going to be good for the zombie killer. That's what the MK. All right, let's see. Doesn't look like he quite finished, or they quite finished with the base. Make sure there ain't no... Sometimes they'll put, like, bear traps and other stuff you gotta watch for. Yeah, see, this side hasn't been built, but it's got a two-story tower. Let's see if we can get in here. Nope. There's a lock. Alright, so... It does mean that someone is around here, so we got to be careful. All right, let's just keep looting. The last encounter we had didn't go bad. Maybe this person's friendly too. All right, let's find us some gear. We need. You can get leather repair kits in garages. Sewing kits you can find anywhere in houses or anywhere. We need to get some water. I have to. Oh, um, there's another preacher. And I would like to find... Oh, we'll take this food. We do probably need to eat. What do I have? Let me finish this off. Well, that wasn't but a couple bites, and that was finished. Can I get into this church? All these priests around. Is there anything good in the church? Is that a door that you can get into? Nope. Here's a door. Oh yeah, you can go up these stairs. I forgot. Shoes I don't need because we got some cool boots. And, oh, can of food. I'll take it because I just used up that jam. And, oh, this is a nice little watchtower here. You can snipe. Oh, look at that. You can see. Oh, my goodness. Well, we know that there's zombies that way. Oh, yeah, I forgot I was in third person. Let me switch back to first person. All right. Lots of zombies down 
that way. There's a water source right there. See, that's probably another good reason why you would build a base right here, because you're close to a water source. All right, so we go that way. There looks like there's less zombies to find. So maybe we should start there, because we might find everything we need that way and not have to worry about these zombies. Yeah, so let's go that way, and we can always work our way back here, if need so, and we'll fight some zombies. But let's go fill our, uh, our water bottles up, since we're right close to the water source. Make sure the coast is clear. All right, it looks good. So I, I can't remember if I've already uh, get, said this tip. I think I might have. If you have a water bottle, fill it up. And that way you can be looking around in case someone comes up. Then you can drink from the water bottle. You know, and you can move if you have to. And it's much faster than trying to drink with your hands. Oh, I forgot. Okay, I'm going to fill this up. We have a canteen. And we have to figure out what fixes the canteen. I don't know if it's a epoxy or what. But we want to do that because then we can use our water bottles for... Yeah, it's badly damaged. We can use our water bottles for suppressors. Let me go ahead and fill this up. Yeah, the canteen fits on our, uh, fits on our belt. And it holds a lot of water. And we use the water bottles for suppressors, which is great. All right. Um, I don't have epoxy or anything, so that's another thing. We need epoxy. We need leather cleaning kits. We need all kinds of stuff that will fix stuff. We'll go ahead and take any food that we find because you always want to do that. Oh, here's a perfect, here's a map. Let me look real quick before I start staring at this map. Make sure that guy, I don't even remember what the base, the base is back that way. All right. All right, yeah, see, here we are. How do you say that? Oh, be still. Balawa, Bilawa. We are way, all right, yeah, this is perfect. We started out in Lukakao up there. We worked our way to that military base. I was going to try to go to that castle, and I ran down too far. So we just decided to come here. So our plan right now is to loot this town as much as we can. And then I believe, yeah, before you get into Toplin, there is a, a campsite somewhere over there. And campsites are good for, like, scopes and other things like that. So we might go there. All right. Let's go ahead and go in some of these houses and look for, there is one zombie that way. Look at that. I am finding these little SG-5. Wait, that's not what I have. A badly damaged select fire submachine gun fed from a detached magazine. It uses 9x19. I've got to hold on to that just because I don't know if which submachine gun I'm going to keep, which one I can get ammo for. But that's sweet. I'll take it. Oh, look at that. More jungle boots, and these match. And <laughs> we're going to go with the green jungle boots. Sweet. All right. This little truck turned out to be a good little stop. Anything else here? I do need to find more... Uh, I don't need a I don't need a headlamp. I need a um, gun cleaning kit. Here I hope to find a sewing kit. Don't need any clothes. We're doing great with our clothes. Oh, I'll run into the door. Sewing kit, please. Oh, and we need a. Uh, we're out of matches. We need some matches. I don't need a shotgun. Uh, no, I don't need a shotgun. Yeah, we need to find some matches, sewing kits, leather kits.
Oh, a market. You can find scopes in markets. There's a flag. This is what I was telling you about. Where you, you raise a flag when you build a base. You will you can find flags in these markets too. Is that all? Is that all I'm going to find in this market? Is flag? Let's hope something's back here. Ooh, I'll take it. A machete. It is damaged, and I have two sharpening stones. I'm going to need to get some more sharpening stones. A box of 12 gauge. I'll just hold on to the 12 gauge for now, just in case, even though I don't have a shotgun. All right, is that it? I'm going to leave nothing behind. The loot goblin leaves nothing behind. All right, leather kit, leather kit, come on. I'm not going to use that. Not now. Nine by nineteen. That's what this gun holds. And this gun does have a magazine, so that tells you right there we might have to use that gun because I don't have a magazine for the other one. Anything in here? Can this car drive? Oh my gosh, I'm finding all like good cans of food. Let's go ahead and eat some of this. Another shotgun. No, that's is that a shotgun or a rifle? Let's see. That's a repeater. I don't want a repeater. Okay. There was a zombie. There it is. There's a couple of them. The zombie got a good hit on me and made me bleed. I don't know if there's medical in this town. I could also use some more bandages. He'll a rope. I'll hold on to the rope because you never know when you can get a good rope. Like if we need to make a fishing pole. Where's that other one at? There's one out there. Tape. We know we need tape because tape helps fix. I'm gonna dump that badly damaged tape, and I'm gonna take this nice, this nice uh, tape that picks backpacks and other things. Oh my gosh, there's so many of these zombies. Um, if you ha have watched um, the last episode, episode three, where the military compound, uh, I, oh gosh, where'd you come from? Come on, dude. I filmed that last one uh in complete 4k when normally i've been doing uh, 2k I'm, i am working on my settings trying to adjust the settings to get the best thing so if you can look at like episode two compared to three if you see a difference let me know because it was recorded at a higher resolution Ooh. Now, 
I feel like I feel like I have to dump I have to dump this I have to dump this assault rifle. I know it makes no sense, but I just don't know. I, I don't I have to fix it. Five four by three nine. Do I have five four by three nine? Yeah, I, I think, let me set it down for a minute. The Sporter only holds 22. Clearly, that's not as good as that. But, I've got two submachine guns. I think I'm going to dump this gun. I can get another one. You can find some of these in the pill boxes and other places along the way, or we can find another military area. We're gonna throw we're gonna throw that one out. Yes, I did it. A leather repair kit. I mean a, not a leather a sewing kit. Alright. Can the sewing kit fix the canteen? No. All right. Does anybody know what fixes a badly damaged canteen? It's a plastic bottle. So maybe epoxy. Okay. I got a badly damaged holster. Is that, can that be fixed? So I have to take the gun out. It cannot be fixed with that. Can it be fixed with tape? I'm assuming it's made out of leather, so it's got to be fixed with the leather repair kit. All right, let's check her clothes real quick. Okay, well, I'm glad we got the leather kit. We don't need it right this second, but I'm glad we got it. I mean, I keep saying leather kit, sewing kit. Glad we got the sewing kit. Finally. Now we need to get a leather kit. And some epoxy from a garage. All right, let's shut this door real quick. We're going to take a look at our map. Figure out what's going on. Even though that map actually on the street is better, is easier to look at than this map. All right, so we left the military. We went south. We're in Bawela. Ba 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 That's agriculture down there. We keep going south. That road, yep. South takes you to Toplin. And that's when we cross the river and we start really getting to the area we need to go. But I know there is a camp site. Is it going to be on this tur tourist map? Is this little area? No, right here. It says La Winda. That, see where that, uh, it's right here. La Winda. There's a pond and those are cabins. There's a little restaurant. We might be able to find a gun cleaning kit there. So we need to go. We need to find a compass too. There's the church. There's this main road. We want to go south on the main road. So I think, I'm pretty sure that takes you to Topland. And this takes us to where, where we want to go. Right. What does this sign say here? Yep. Yep. Okay, we're gonna avoid that one zombie. I can't. It, I cannot believe it hasn't rained yet. That is strange. 
All right. Bye, little sleepy town. You did not great for me. But that's sometimes how it goes. Let's go ahead and eat something while we're running down the road here. What is that? Is that it down there? Is this road to the campground? Let's go check this out. I think that might that might be it. That might be the campground I'm talking about. Have you ever oh there's a garage have you uh, let me know in the comments have you played Livonia much and have you ever been into this town by Walla oh hello Sorry to disturb you, sir. You have a generator. He was guarding that generator. This is not, this is just a farmhouse, but this could be great. Could get a rifle. Who knows what you can get up here. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to get my improved ninja. My oh, come on! Oh my goodness! Completely lost my ninja. My ninja certification has been revoked. Maybe maybe it's my boots. Do the boots make too much noise? These jungle boots. You get sneakers back on. Worn gloves. I have worn gloves. Hey, I found some more 357. Look at that. A leather kit. Let's see, will this fix the canteen? What in the world fixes canteens? Will this fix the holster? Does fix the leather kit, does fix the holster. Hey, look, a sewing kit. This is the house I needed to come to. Everybody remember that. Okay, so now I have that. Uh, let's hold on to this. Found a sew another sewing kit and a leather repair kit. All right, so the boots are good. Okay, that is all good. I still don't know what it fixes my canteen. Okay, so it was worth coming this little bitty cabin in the woods. All right, let's head to this campground. I 
I'll tell you what, let's first get in these trees over here. All right, let's go crouch down right here. What I need to do is I have this sporter. It has one mag. So let's load up that mag. It uses the 22, which is not very powerful. Same thing that kills the zombies. But that's what I wanted to do for right now. Up here north, I want to kill some zombies and move our way down south. All right, so put that there. Sporters back out. All right, magazine. Okay, so what I want to do is, if you haven't ever done this before, you take an empty water bottle, you take duct tape, and let me show you on the screen, it'll give you the prompt to craft a bottle suppressor. Uh, and this is going to be, you know, for the rifle. All right, so let's look here. Let's put that sporter back in our hands, and then we're going to take this. Now, what I don't know is how many shots before it's ruined because you can take a few and then it will stop working so if i can remember when we're shooting some zombies up here let's see if we can uh, remember to count how many shots it lasts all right where's that little dirt road here it is so we got to go back to the main road and then we're going to head south oh there's a deer stand right there Am I going the right way? But I'm going to go to the deer stand. Let's see. Something good. Uh, hmm. Well, do I have room for that? Oh, that's too big. I don't need that. It's a camp, a camp stove. Now let me go back this way. Because did I get turned around? I got to find the main road. This main roads this way. Well, I do like all the gear I have. The problem is it doesn't give me a lot of stamina. I run out. Yeah, I've got too much. My my loot goblinness is making me carry way too much. But you know, I'm starting the journey, and you kind of need a lot of things when you first get started. Uh, I'm going to keep telling myself that way anyway. I wonder how big, how heavy this backpack is. 11. I bet you that's too heavy. We might have to switch that one out. Alright, so here's the road that we need to follow. But instead of running down the middle of the road, I'm going to kind of stay in these trees right here. Yeah, when I first started playing, I just followed the roads and I'd run right dead in the middle. And you stand out quite a bit when you're running in the middle of the road. Oh my gosh, so many crevices or ditches right here. I do think we are going to have to go to Topland. I really wanted to not go to Topland because there can be some crazy stuff there. But I just don't, I have ammo, but I don't have the right ammo. That's like this, the USG-45 and that 1911 pistol. Those are military. They use the 45 rounds and you only find those in military, I think. And that's, you know, far away from where I'm going. There looks like, oh, that's an industrial area right there. Hey, let's just go real quick to this one. I don't want to go to that big building, but there's a car right here. Because I still want to find some epoxy. See that car there? That means there's, there's a zombie there. Is there only one? I don't want to waste my bullets on just one. Let's get... All right. 
see see if I can get my ninja certification back. Oh, not when I'm hitting the talk button. It's not going to work. My keyboard is not the best keyboard for gaming. I need to get a better keyboard. Ah, I did it wrong again. I did it too soon that time. Sorry, sorry, dude. No bleeds? Okay. Alright, let's just check these cars out. In this garage for some epoxy. Nope, just old rag. Yeah, there's nothing here. Where's a can of food? Why can I get that? What's the deal with that food? Alright, let me turn this on. Well, can I see it? There, there's the open. There it is. Okay, we got the can of food. Did I look in this thing already? Hmm, I don't need nails. I'm not I'm not building anything right now. I'll leave that for someone who actually is trying to build something. Okay, well I got a I got a can of food. Which I've got a gazillion to can of food. We are not hurting food. We are a bit heavy and we're lacking some ammo. I found a couple of nice guns. Now this other submachine gun, the SG5K uses 9x19. Those are the same as the Glock, so you're going to find those in town. So when we go to Toplin, I might just have to use that and get rid of that other submachine gun and get rid of the coat. Because you can have the best guns in the world, but if you have no ammo, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm way too heavy. Let's line up and eat something real quick. All right, there's the railroad tracks. So I believe the campground is down here. I don't see anything yet. Oh, there it is. It looks like it. All right, so let's make sure no one's there. Make sure no zombies are roaming before we get too close. I do not have binoculars or anything. I don't see any movement at all. All right, we're going to sneak up on this place. Is it looks like it's starting to get cloudy, so it's going to rain. So I guess we do have shelter, though. Got a bunch of places to take shelter. All right, let's get into this main uh, restaurant area. Nope, there's a zombie right there. Anything back over here? All right, let's take our... Repeater, I mean not repeater, supporter. Oh, I don't like those sights. I can't see the thing. The sights are horrible. 
with that. Yeah, I don't like that. You can't see. The bottle suppressor makes the sight hard to see. So we're going to use the MK for right now. All right, let's see if everything up here is a nice bed. We can take a nap. Ooh, vitamins. I do need vitamins. Those are good for when you get sick. Oh, and what do we got here? A Deagle mag. 357. I do have 357 rounds, but I don't have a Deagle. So let's keep on looting. Don't need no torn up dress. All right, how many rounds do I have left in this MK? Seven. All right, there's a zombie there. Let's figure out which way we want to go. I don't see, I don't see anybody else. There can't, there's gotta be more than one zombie at a campground. I got more food back. I'm doing so good on cans of food. All right, let's check these cars out. up dress in that car I don't see anything okay oh here comes the rain all right we're gonna go down this left side and we'll work all the way around back to where we started what do we got here we have a scope so let's take that scope that is a pristine PU scope that will go on a Mosin so if we can find a Mosin that would be great alright but you also gotta watch out for bear traps here too because people will plant bear traps there's another empty bottle which would be good for making another suppressor we'll empty it out and we'll save it right here where we had the other one I'm not taking these canisters to start fires or anything I don't need that right now I don't need damaged pants don't need what is that a mace I guess that would be good for bludgeoning someone to death there is a zombie right there I'm not gonna mess with it right now hunter vest I will keep my plate carrier and a army pouch small army pouch can you put stuff in that and carry it or does it have to go around what you already have so like if i was to put these items in there can i now put that in my inventory let's test it out real quick no it's just going to be another uh you know it's gonna be now. I've done got my inventory messed up. It's gonna be another backpack. It's an option for a backpack. And zombies right there. Oh wait, do I get closer? So far, PU scope. Now, why is this door closed and the other one's open? Twelve gauge. I don't need twelve gauge. I don't know what this GPS transceiver is good for either. Do y'all do y'all know what that? It's like to figure out where you're at, but I don't know that I need that. Maybe I do. We'll have to figure that out. Let's just go ahead and save it. I know, loot goblin. Save everything. What do we got here? Nine by nineteen. See, that's what that one holds. This one right here. 
So let's collect that 9 by 19 Looks like we'll be using that submachine gun. I don't need shotgun shells. And what is this little area here? Battery? Nothing and nothing. There's a nice little area down there to go fishing. Hey, there's a shed down there. Let's go see. And it's got a camp light or a shop light. That's not useful. We'll check this fishing bow out for any hooks. Okay. We're going to go do this other side and... I don't know, I mean, a PU scope alone makes it worth it. Okay, I see the one, two zombies over there. One's on that roof. Don't know what he's doing. There's one right there. Okay. What seems to be the problem with shooting this one? You gotta be kidding me. Oh my gosh. I can't switch my weapon. Golly. I couldn't switch my weapon. That was horrible. All right, let me get those bandages out. I was trying to switch to my knife real quick. That way I didn't waste the bullets that I have for this MK, and it wasn't switching. That probably goes back to that keyboard problem I was telling you about. Stupid zombie caused me too much trouble. All right, let's check this out now. I'm empty. Twenty two rounds. I guess it doesn't have a very good range because I don't know why it didn't kill him the first time I hit him. Okay. You have a stone knife. That's nice. A bolt. Cargo pants or something. Don't need that. Don't need wire. Another transceiver was the one that I picked up. It's both pristine. More wire. Hunter pants. Shotgun. And a medieval helmet. All right, this is the last one. More shotgun. Matches. I did need matches. Yay. Did need matches. All right. So we got a PU scope and some matches here at Camp bad zombie nothing out here all right I think this would be a good place got a nice fireplace we'll just rest here for a little bit we'll go through our inventory maybe I don't know if I need to start a fire I am damp so we'll call this episode right here and uh, why not Everything went the way we wanted. We did get a PU scope. We 
got some sewing kits. We got a little bit of a leather kit left. We still need epoxy and we need ammo. So we're going to have to head to Topland. That's going to be on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and get notified.